which is at 156.25. There's the pacemaker, the uh, pole, Patricia Vyskovic of Utska. Uh, tasked with going out at 57s for 400 and 71 for 500. It will be quick. There's Audrey Guerra of Switzerland. Close to her personal best in Germany at the month ago. European under 20 champion a couple of years back. She's still only 19. And her best 159.5. She's in seventh. Natoya Gould of Jamaica. Fourth in the Commonwealth Games this year. She's super consistent. Third in that fabulous Paris 800 a couple of weeks back. Behind this woman, Keely Hodgkinson, who ran a world best and a personal best. From a 400 personal best at Chelmsford. Just uh, two weeks ago, she's in fine fettle as the reigning European champion indoors and out, Keely Hodgkinson. There's Mary Morar, the Commonwealth champion. Exacted revenge on Hodgkinson in Birmingham when she finished third behind the Britons, second at the World Championships. She's a great 400 metre runner, Sue Morar. Watch her in four. Gemma Riki there to left her picture, fourth in the Tokyo Olympics. Her last race was a 1500 person best in France a couple of weeks back. She's uh, in good form too. She shares that lane with Katriona Bissett of Australia, who as well is in great form. There's Laura Hoffman of Switzerland. Big roar for her, the five-time Swiss champion. Hasn't come close to two minutes yet this year, though. And then what, lane one being shared by, shared by Bello. Could struggle here, the eight-time Italian champion. And Yarigo Benin, who set a personal best in Paris three weeks ago. She set seven national records at 800, has uh, Yarigo, her best ever this season, 158.6. But Keely Hodgkinson, well, her coach, Trevor Painter, is here. World number one, as I said, after that big win in Paris, where she looked tremendously strong. I think Mo, the Olympic and world champion, had her first run up last weekend. As they get underway here in very still air, the flags are hanging limply, just about perfect conditions. It's not warm, but it's not cold either. It's 18 degrees centigrade here. Stadium high up above the city of Lausanne and the Viskovic and Savatska coming across from the left there to take them out at good fast pace. A little bit of jostling for position there as Hodgkinson tries to get in behind a Mirage using stay off the curb, but it's got the uh, Britain sort of boxed in at the moment. And Savatska doing a pretty good job. These three being dragged along behind her. Then Wero on the outside is uh, running at well, personal best tempo, Steve. Yeah, the youngster from Switzerland right up there with the two big names. Big test here for Keely Hodgkinson against Mary Mora. Mora, who beat her at the Commonwealth Games last year and has a tendency to run more of an erratic race rather than Keely Hodgkinson's measured races. So I think this is a good position, but look at Mora just slowing the ball the home straight because Mora is so strong there. Yeah, Mora was definitely slowing down on purpose there to keep Hodgkinson at bay because Hodgkinson, I think, would have loved to be charging through the bell and said, Said she was having to chop her stride behind the Kenyan, the Commonwealth champion, remember, who beat her in Birmingham. Pacemaker drops out, and still Hodgkinson there in second place. The Mora is significantly quicker over 400 metres. Indeed, she was a 400 metre specialist, and she has controlled this one so far. Hodgkinson, though, needs to be able to contend with all conditions, so she will know full well that she's got to match. And look how wide Mora is running there forcing Hodgkinson right out into lane two and Hodgkinson grimacing and she might have been outsmarted on this occasion oh my word Mara moving away what a surprise to kick off the meeting here in Lausanne Mara kicks away it's worked out textbook perfect for the Kenyan to take this one in a good quick time Hodgkinson well beaten and out thought eventually she would have learned some very very important lessons in that one she should never have got herself boxed going into the second bend on the first lap, and Mara executed, Steve, a brilliant tactical race. It's non-conformist at times, but she's learning, Mary Mara. You know, when she first came on the scene, she remember she was going off crazy first 200, slowing right down and speeding up again. There is nobody better than her in the home straight. I think I said it a couple of times last year. Yes, when the pace is hot, I think Mo and Keely Hodgkinson ahead of her, she might not get past them. But to allow Mora to control the race, like you said, Tim, Keeley had an opportunity. I think the plan probably was. I don't mind if Mora gets ahead of me. She goes out so hard the first 200. Don't fight her. But then Keeley had to try and get charge of the race. And she never did that. And Mora was able to slow it down at the front. And then with 200 to go, you saw Keeley make a bit of an effort to try and get past her. Couldn't. And then after that, Mora is so strong in the home straight. She does this time and time again. As I said, if she's in front with 100 to go, most of the time,
if she's going to win. I think that's now 5-4 to Keeley in their head-to-heads. That is a chastening defeat for Keeley Hodgkinson. Probably just what she needed for those world championships some six weeks or so away. A wake up call that there is lots of work for her and her coach Trevor Painter and Jenny Meadows who also assists in that coaching team. Plenty of time for them to do plenty of work. Marat is absolutely delighted, but of course, the main test of the season, the one race that matters, lies ahead in Budapest. Very, very impressive from the Kenyan, though. My word, a winning time. 157.43, a season's best, and Hodgkinson, well, some two and a half seconds behind her time in Paris. There it is, Marat winning her season's best. Keely Hodgkinson second. Ghoul, a good third from her. She's so